What's good, people? What's up? What's up? We in here. What's up, Flight? What's up? Sneaker Study up? Wednesday. We back. Bro, what's going on with my um I don't know what's happening with my, my screen yard, man. There we go. Yo, Got my god, you English in the building. What's good, man? Yo, yo, what's good? What's up, man? You can hear me good. Shout out to Drew English and English Souls. Appreciate what? you guys. Yeah, I can hear you all good. Can you hear me? Yeah, man. I don't know. My my screen yard was tripping, man. I was like working on it for like 20 minutes, but we in here. Okay. We're here once again for another edition of Sneaker Study Wednesday, man. Like promise, I told y'all that I was going to keep bringing guests in, man. We got 25 in here now, but we know that number is about to go up as more people come in. Um, But first, yes, man. So I told y'all we was going to have more guests, man. And my guy is doing the honors of jumping on here tonight with us, man. We're going to have us a good conversation and, uh, you know, have some fun with the with the P.E. Guru, man. You know what I'm saying? The one <laughs> That's and only. you, bro. That's you. That's about to be you. You've already been stepping your game up, so. Listen, I'm trying, bro, but with the help of you, man, I'm getting there, man. I'll for tell sure, you, man. man. Once again, shout out to my guy, Tim Johnson, for the follow on the dono. Bring a tithe and offer to the alt. He said, shout out to Flight Academy Kicks. Sneaker Study Wednesday with another special guest. Flight Crew, hit that like button. And as well as my boy, Alias, with the 199 dono. Thank you so much for bringing a tithe and offer to the altar. He said, pay for a link. <laughs> yeah, let's 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 get this guy his uh, next PE going off of this chat. <laughs> Look, man, so right. So check this out, man. So so I'm gonna talk about this PE that my guy sent me, man. This is my very first official PE, man. First one ever. Nobody can ever take that position, man. It came from the one and only, man, English Souls, man. I love this one. Now, what's crazy is I didn't really like the wool 12s too much, but um, I actually do like this a little bit more, but I felt like they could have added a little bit of more organ marks on it. What you think, yeah. man? Yeah, I mean, so it basically the base of the shoe is that wool 12, and then they, the the touches with the tongue, I think, kind of set that, that shoe over because, like, the wool 12 was a pretty plain shoe, so the – so, like, I mean, you can wear it outside for the winter, whatever. Like that was the whole purpose, the whole winterized series they do every year. But I mean, it, it was just lacking something, and just that duck on the tongue, I, I think, really sets that shoe off. I would, I would have liked to have seen a duck on the other tongue too, and then maybe like uh, spice up like the back tabs a little bit, like they did with the PSNY uh, Michigan PEs. Mm -hmm. Something like that would have been a little more dope. But if you look on that pair, I'm not sure if you you noticed. Uh, I believe it's the left shoe. Yeah. Yep. Tinker Hatfield. Yeah, so that's that's signed by uh, Tinker Hatfield, and then there's another little note on that shoe that you, you it's really hard to see because of where he signed it and it, it kind of absorbed. Look on the inside, so like, so that shoe. Look on like the inside of the liner. Um, no, so like inside of the shoe on the liner of the oh, right yeah. shoe. Yeah, yeah. It, it's it'll say Go Ducks in there. He wrote he signed that also on one of them. So it's hard to see because it blended in. On a lot of them, so it, it's you have to look real close on them. It where it wore off on a lot of them, but if you look, at them, yeah, let's see if you got it. Uh, let me look. It's it's there. I, I see. I've seen it on that exact pair. It's really really faint, so it's it's tough. You you'll have to check it out uh, when you, when you're off the video. But it's it's in there. Um, mm -hmm. the problem is is when he signed it, the uh, padding and the wool, like you know, because obviously that's a little bit more reinforced for the winter. Yeah, it absorbed like through that liner. It absorbed some of the ink, so it, it didn't really stick on it too well. You know, Dang. hey, you gonna have me looking? I'll be looking all week. <laughs> <laughs> it's the whole stream. The stream's over. It's this is a stream of of uh, watching Flight Academy kicks. Just look at it. <laughs> the whole time y'all talking, whole I'm, whole like, time. Right I'm just like looking, man. But I definitely uh. I definitely let me stop, bro. I never. <laughs> it, man. You're about hey. to lose it out here. <laughs> but you know what? It's crazy because I forgot. I didn't even know about that part when I did the video. Mm -hmm. So I definitely would have did my homework before and checked to see if I had seen it, man. But we want to get to some questions, man. While we got you on the panel, bro. Um, we're not on the panel by a special guest, man. So, what is your favorite PE, man? Man, for me. My top two, honestly, are the Glitter Legend of Summer 1 and then the PE version of the Oregon 5s. Uh, that, that shoe is always my favorite, regardless of the GR. I don't, I don't really even care. That's that's always just been that shoe. Like, 
back when I was only collecting like GRs and stuff. Like I, I would just buy like GR stuff. I think the most expensive thing I had was a Tokyo Five. Mm. When I saw that Oregon Five, that's kind of what got me into like wanting to get PEs because at the time that shoe was like eighty five hundred, and I was like, man. I can't do that. Like, but it was like that shoe that I always saw and wanted. So that the Oregon Five, man, that's regardless of it releasing, that that's still one of my favorite PEs. That's your favorite one. So, like, what what really got you into it? Man, I'll I'll be honest. I was telling uh, Two Js uh, when he kind of asked me about like what got me into collecting, uh, like the rare stuff. Really, was I. The very first PE sample I ever had was a Flam SB. And I got that in a trade. I traded a, a worn size eight and a half Yeezy two pack, right? So the red mm-hmm. solars and the flats. I traded that in like 1500 or, so, or something like that, right? And I got a pair of Flam SBs. And it was one of those things where like I was like always wanting to push, like get the more rare, get. Each step of the way, I wanted to get the most rare thing I could get my hands on, right? Mm-hmm. And my brother is like, man, we gotta, we can't be taking a risk on shoes that are this expensive. So he actually told me not to get that. And I, I just said, fuck it, I'm getting it. You know, like I ended up just doing the trade. I go, if, if, I go, if we're going to lose, if we lose money on this, I'll buy it myself. I'll keep it. Like, trust me, I know what I'm doing. And he was just like, all right, you know, <laughs> all right, we'll see what happens. I, I bought that. I think at the time, Reds were what probably uh, worn reds were like 3500 4k uh worn solars were 2500 uh worn plats were 1800 right mm-hmm. so um i mean i, I think i so I, that has me five six seven point eight and then i paid 1500 eight so 9.3k into a pair of flam sbs and we know what that's worth now right yes obviously it would be great if i held that shoe but i didn't i ended up selling that shoe for 12k which i was like because my point was like, yo, I'm not going to take a risk the first time. I'm going to, I'm just going to prove my point of, hey, this can be prof- profitable and it can be, you know, something we, we have fun collecting and don't lose a ton of money doing. So we ended up, you know, taking that. It was like, like what I say, 9,300, sold it for 12K. Um, and after that, it's, you know, that that's kind of the start of how we got into the PEs and samples. Now, had I, had I kept that shoe, we, we see what they're doing now. They're like 50, 60K now. Um. Right. Behind it's 2020, man. You know, so. So is that one of the biggest regret? Not really, not really. That that because to be honest, I can't really regret that when that's what really got me into the game of samples. Okay. Because that's what kind of drove home and proved the point that you can go after this rare stuff and this expensive stuff, and it still can be like you know it can be part of your collection, then also turn out to be a decent investment. And had I held that like. You know, I, I got that years ago. Had I held it for two more years, I, I could have bought that shoe later at 6K because SB market died. Like it was, you couldn't sell an SB. I was selling, you know, people were selling Flams for 6K. They were selling Freddy's for 2,500. What the Dunks for like a thousand uh, Paris SBs. I sold a pair of those for 6,500. Like that, they were dead. I couldn't, I couldn't give my Iron Maiden SBs away. I, I took them. You know, I took them down. They weren't even for sale anymore. And, and someone just offered me a pair. And I think maybe 2J's even offered me uh, a pair. And he was saying they're asking 15K on them. So, like, that shoe, I, I, I couldn't sell for 3500 So, had I held on to that, actually, like, I, I might have been like, yo, let's not even do this because I already, you know, because I was getting offered flams again at 6K. So, had I paid 9.3 and it went to 6, I would have been like, nah, man, I'm good. Dang, bro. That's crazy, man. So, like, what's the what's the um, what's like the most expensive shoe? So, well, before I ask you that question, well, I guess I already started asking. So, what's the most expensive shoe that you have in your collection? And what does someone like you? What does your shoe connection look like, bro? So, most expensive shoe, huh? Let me see, man. Uh, so we got that auction going. I don't know if you saw it with Probably Sotheby's. three million dollars. Go ahead, Drew. Tell us. No, oh, no, <laughs> I wish. <laughs> I wish. So we got a Yeezy mismatch sample that's like a, a solar and a plat combined, and only one of those was made. It was worn by Kanye and signed by Kanye. That mm-hmm. we're actually auctioning that one off. Um, I have a feeling that one's gonna go for quite a lot, as well as you know, obviously Encore fours. That's uh, that's one we've had a few of that you know typically goes around the 30, 
the 30 to 35,000 range. And um, we have the Entourage Air Force Ones that are from the episode uh, where, you know, Turtle was trying to get uh, on Entourage, he's trying to get a pair of sneakers. And he ended up, you know, the last pair ended up getting bought up, I think it was by DJ AM. And mm-hmm. so all the guys on Entourage tracked down the guy. So it was, it was like kind of making fun of and poking at like the whole sneaker collab thing. And so the, the fake artist's name was Pukijama. And so the guys on Entourage tracked Pukijama down and they they paid him to make his own version of that undefeated Air Force One and uh, the gold one. And so it, the one I have that's actually up for auction is is the exact um, same one from the show. Each of the cast members of the show got made one. So there's nine, nine in total. And so that one we're actually auctioning off. I, I predict that one could be 50, 60K. Um, that would be definitely up there for us. Dang. I would just imagine just to be in that position, you would have to um they, you would have to have like it would take a lot of networking to be able yeah. to grab shoes like that. Can you yeah. touch a little bit, not more so going in how you get them, but the keys you use for like networking? Like because on, on here I talk a lot about uh networking with people when you go places, you know. I sometimes I find the most random person to have a conversation with them. Cause you never know what they could offer or what you could offer them. So yeah. if you could basis a little bit on how important networking is, because that's something that I preach a lot on the channel. Yeah, man. Uh, without networking with people properly like that, you don't get anything in this game. Like really. Um, and, and a lot of times the thing that sucks is, is when you're dealing with people that get almost everything, there's nobody that gets everything other than obviously MJ. But, like, mm-hmm. when people say they get everything, they don't get everything. I don't get everything. Like, yeah, nobody yeah. gets everything, right? So you got to kind of – you got to you gotta stay networking with people at all times, right? But the thing is, is, is a lot of your chances to get in with people are, like – it's almost like they're, like, your biggest tests, right? So mm-hmm. trophy room – Trophy room ones come out, right? You know, my, my price is not going to be retail. No one's price is retail, right? Maybe on a personal. I got a personal at retail, right? So I had to, I gave up my personal at retail. That cost, I gave it up to someone else. So they, they get it for retail. I had to pay resale for mine because I gave my retail price pair to like that value to somebody else because they look out on me for other stuff, you know? And so I, you know, the thing is, is I have to do something like that mm-hmm. off of just like a, hey, man. We got a relationship, and I'm not I'm not counting, but like you got to almost know those people on that level where you know that it's they would do the same for me for you sort of thing, you know. So like it's definitely there's a lot of people out there trying to take advantage of like yo you, you see all the stuff I got let you know help me out and I'll help you out and then you help them out and then they disappear. You I mean you already know you've been in this yeah. game long enough. So, right, but, right. but the thing is is you got to almost like it's almost like the um like the cars, like used car salesman approach, right? Where like, you know, you're not, you're, you're trying to sell a car and you get told no a hundred times, but the hundred and first time you get a sale, it's the same thing, but with building connections with people, you you know, you're going to get burned. You're going to, you're going to hook someone up and you're never going to hear from them again. And you're going to do it a bunch. And the thing is, is to not get bitter about it because the right person that will hook you up is going to come around. And if you change your mentality towards, uh, you know how you how you look at the sneaker game and stuff it's like you're you're just gonna burn yourself because you're gonna be trying to ask all the questions like yo what's in it for me what's in it for me you just gotta go out there and be like yo here it is let's see what let's see you know because people are gonna people are gonna show you what they're gonna show you about who they are right mm-hmm. you just give them enough time people are gonna show you exactly who they are and, and you shouldn't change who you are based on that so i mean it's why a lot of people that are big collectors have a lot of the same connections because, you know, if all you do is collect sneakers and you get your, you know, you know, this guy over here, he collects sneakers, right? And you get his size for retail, but you don't care about resale. You're just like, you're just trying to network. You're going to give him his shoe for retail anyway, because like, it's not, you're not in it for that. Right. And so you build those connections naturally because you're not expecting anything. And so people remember that, man. People remember it. That's key. Yeah. That's key. I, 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 all the time. Is my, is my microphone back? It's, it, yeah, it's a little quieter. Yeah. Hold on. I mean, let me get that right. We gotta do things right over here, man. I don't know why it's acting like that today. All right, is that a little bit better? Yeah, that's better. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. So, um, 
Let's see here. All right, Tim, you got any questions? I don't want to take all the questions. I got plenty of questions, man. Yeah, I got one question. Uh, Drew, when can I get the uh, PE, uh, the Blake Griffin, Oklahoma 11 PE? That's my first <laughs> question. Well, actually, so the the only person I know that has those right now is uh one of one of uh, our buddies. He's in, he's based out of Oklahoma, biggest Oklahoma fan. Uh, he actually got him. Uh, his name's Perry. Um, if you if you look at his page, he's got every Oklahoma shoe, and so he actually ended up just getting those. So I I don't I don't have those right now, man. <laughs> All right, so right now means that it's a possibility that you could have those in the future. We just need to keep hey, keep man, out, right? No, it's a okay. That's what I wanted to hear. Yeah, just give me a three, and that's all I need. Keep hope alive. But a, a question, though, honestly, when you look at the sneaker culture, there's always a, a, a ongoing conversation about hype versus heat. Now, you just told Joe's story about the journey, what got you to PEs. What was a hype or a heat shoe that even led you to start going in that direction anyway? I would say the first time I started getting in that direction – was I bought like four or five pairs of there was like one winter in like 2012 or 13 right that like the sneaker market kind of you know the sneak the sneaker market's got its ebbs and flows sometimes things are flying and that's other times like nothing's selling right and then people are right. like you know people posting sneaker games dead sneaker games dead all this right so this was one of those times where people were saying like oh sneaker games dead and and so people were posting up like um Tokyo fives right they, they post Tokyo okay. fives up okay. 15 to 1700. It was one winter that nothing was selling like after Christmas. And so I just said, you know what? I, I think this shoe is worth more than 15 to 1700. The people that own these and are selling and are desperate to sell them. I mean, a lot of them are little kids, so they're probably using their parents' money or they're like, you know, they're, they're literally just not patient enough. So I, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to buy up everyone from every person I see that like seems like they need their money back out of it. I'm going to hold it and just see if someone hits me up needing that shoe. And sure enough, I mean, what, you know, those are worth around like 3000 right now. Right. So I, I ended up selling mine for like 2,500 after that. Um, and my kind of, my kind of like mentality with it was like, at first, I was just buying stuff my size because I go, all right, well, if I make a bad buy, well, you know what? That's on me. I'll keep it and wear it. It's not even a big deal because it's. I look at it. That's a that's a dope shoe. I'll keep it. I'll wear it. And that's a lesson learned. And I got to, you know, at least I got something to show for that lesson learned. You know, like people investing in Bitcoin if, uh, the first time when it dropped. Mm -hmm. I mean, if you, you held on to that ride, you lost everything. You got nothing to show for your time. At least I got a sneaker, right? Exactly. <clears throat> Um, and I, was there a second part to that that question with the height? Versus yeah, the second part was essentially, okay, so we're telling us what, how do you balance heat versus height and just your normal aspect of your sneaker collection aside from the PEs? Um, honestly, I used to just, I used to just try and buy into like having the rarest stuff, but the way my personal collection works now is if I don't wear it, it goes. Like if I'm not going to wear it, there's no point of having it, right? <clears throat> and the thing is, is there, there got to be a point where um, probably what, maybe like three years ago, every person's sneaker collection looked the same. The whole bin pack, the whole DB pack, like there's no person. <laughs> like, they're, they're dope shoes. Don't get me wrong. But like everyone had the Miro 7s, the Tokyo 5s, the DB. Like you can literally like picture like 150 people's different collections based on just saying the names of those shoes. because. Everyone just was like, I got to get the rarest stuff. It was it was about getting it all. And so the good thing with them overproducing shoes now is you got to pick and choose, man. Like your collection now, if you go into someone's closet, like you walk into my closet, like if you look at flights right there, you see those 14s in the back, the yellow Ferrari. That was yellow Ferrari, right? They called it. Um, mm -hmm. That's not really in my collection. Why? I Personally, I'm not a big fan of those. But guess what? That's something that he likes that makes his collection unique to him, right? With me, you walk into my collection, you're going to see a bunch of fives. You won't see every five because I pick and choose. Um, but now you're seeing people get back to, I mean, there's still people that are chasing the collabs and doing all that and trying to only get that. But the people that are like the real sneaker collectors, when a GR14 sits, you know, Flight, Flight Academy kicks is grabbing it because it doesn't matter. He likes the 14, right? Or if it's a GR5 that sits, like the Fire Red 5, dope. That, that shoe's not worth anything. I'll take three of them. You know what I mean? Like, because that's a shoe that that's like one of the shoes that got me back into sneakers. So like 
it, it's dope to see it coming around this way because like you're not seeing everyone's collections look the same anymore and, and that's in that's good and bad because it's hard to keep up and buy everything you want but you almost just have to go all right i'm not going to get every pair i want which ones do i really want and so now people's sneakers collections are speaking more towards their personality than just being like a hey look how much my my collection's worth instead you know mm. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, well, thanks for that insight. I appreciate you sharing that part of your journey with us too. Yeah. No worries, man. <laughs> Shout out to uh, Nazim, man, for the nineteen ninety nine dono. Thank you so much for bringing the tithe offering to the altar. He said, "Keep at it, bro." And as well as we have one more. Next up, twenty three. Thanks so much for your tithe offer, bringing it all, bringing it to the altar. He said, "Best life advice ever, man." And that's what we bring over here, man. So, here's my question for uh, for you, Drew, man. Like. When when it when it comes to like these these, these rare sneakers and and collecting, do you do you ever at any point feel like you're gonna get tired of just like getting these these types of sneakers, or is there is there something else that you want to work on, or you feel like you 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 can do this forever and be fine with it? Uh, obviously, like I don't see myself being like some sixty year old dude selling sneakers, obviously, but I mean I'm always gonna have sneakers, right? Um, mm -hmm. I, there. There is a point of like callous where you get a certain shoe enough times, you're just like, all right, yep, another pair, toss it in the, you know, in the pile. And I know, and I'm not trying to say that it's not, that sounds like almost arrogant or cocky. I'm not trying to come off that way, but like, there'll be a certain shoe that like, for whatever reason, I've got a good line on where I get 20, 30 ver like pairs of the same shoe. You know, the mm -hmm. first five, 10 times that shoe comes in the mail, you're like, this is sick, this is sick. Then after that, you know, it, it does lose. It does lose the, um, I don't even know, oh, that, in that feeling, like, you know, the, you know, when you like, you're a kid and you know, you got a, a package coming and you come home from school and you're like, the first thing you do is, is the mail here, is the mail here. Cause you want to get to your sneakers like ASAP. Like it does, it does kind of like, you know, it does kind of like kill that a little bit over time. But I mean, for, I, I get more excited, like, to be honest, like if I hit a GR shoe for retail or like a shoe that's you know, markets three, 400 that sells out is hard. Like I got topazes for retail, right? I was like, that's sick. Like I didn't have to pay 350, 300 or uh, the university blue ones. Like I, you know, I've got enough people that look out for me. Like I got the university blue ones for free from one of my guys that owns a store because I helped him get trophy rooms for a good price because he knew he goes, he knew what those were costing. And I go, yo, this is the price. And he goes, bro, I appreciate you let me just look out for you on, on something. Just let me know what shoes you need. He just mailed me. I like, I was thinking, okay, he'll let me cop a pair for retail. He goes, bro, you looked out for me. Let me just give you a pair. And that's a shoe he could have sold for four fifty, right? You know, so that mm -hmm. kind of stuff, that kind of stuff really like does more for me because it's like just seeing people like come through and like that there's still good people in the sneaker game. And it's not just all greed. Cause he could have, he could have, if you wanted to like backdoor that or something, which I'm not saying like he didn't do that. He he literally gave me the shoe for free. But if you mm -hmm. wanted to find someone who was about money, he could have sold that shoe. Size eight, what four four fifty at the time. So mm -hmm. it's like that, that stuff's more cool to me because it's it's cool Easy. to find yeah. people that, that are still about it for the right reasons. You know, that man. And, and like speaking on the University of Blue Ones, bro, like that 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 was that, that's like one of the most hectic releases ever, bro. And Something just a, a a a break in in the session for a second. They are raffling them again next week, bro. Yeah. So <laughs> and, and is, I was gonna do a video on this. So if if you in sneaker study Wednesday right now, you are getting early news right now. They are re raffling the shoes again next week. So some stores receive men pairs the first time, and this time they got GS, so they did a raffle for this. But some stores didn't get preschool or toddlers. They're gonna be raffling those sizes next week, vice versa. Some stores got preschools and toddlers and men, but didn't get in GS. So whatever that store is missing is re-raffling again. So we gotta go through this again, man. So this is one of the things I say, man. And, and tell me what you think about you. I feel like they should just wait until everything is set to go and just release it then. I would much rather uh a pushback of the release date versus having to keep going back to the store for the same exact shoe, bro. Yeah, and so the the thing, the reason why you're getting stuff like that happening is like, 
each store, whether it's a mom and pop store or it's a Foot Locker, they got X amount of space in their their uh, you know in the back, right? So they if if they delay, so like because the the whole shipping situation on the University Blue ones, they had a shipping delay on Nike's end. So like you said, some stores got GS, some stores didn't even get men's, and so if they hold them up and just tell them keep the shoes in there, you know. They're planning on keeping that that back area filled at all times. So if you keep a shoe a month after release, that shoe is taking a spot on the shelves that another one is already supposed to be and another one's on the way. So with that stuff, they, they kind of just tell them, like, as soon as you get it, like, just go with it. You'll get your stuff later and we'll figure it out. But they don't have as much space in, like, warehouses and, and, and stuff like that to keep, you know, hundreds and hundreds of extra shoes, extra weeks. They got to get it moving, you know. No, that's that's uh, right. and I feel like uh, I think even Brick said it before. Like, I, out of anybody that's gonna get their shoes out first, it's gonna be sneakers out, man. He was like, sneakers yeah. out. It's gonna push their shoes out before anybody because they don't oh, have to deal with it, bro. Yeah, if they got the Nike name attached, you know that they're gonna have the best service. I mean, because the thing is, is is Nike has been moving towards uh, getting away from like mom and pop stores, right? Uh -huh. So they're trying to like streamline the process of direct to consumer. Uh -huh. So their service and their product that they offer, you're going to get the best thing from them. Or at least they're going to aim for the best. Obviously, you, every once in a while, I've gotten some crushed boxes from sneakers or like, as you know, the issue that no one can get anything on sneakers. Right. Um, so you're going to get that. But in terms of getting your shoes and having them arrive, you're, you're supposed to get the best service from them, you know. Yeah, facts, man. So real quick, we got a shout out our donos, man. Shout out to the guy Tim Johnson for the five out dono. Thank you for bringing the time and offering to the alt. He said, "Flight crew, get this knowledge and support the channel. Hit that like button." Then as well as facts. my guy Sneaker Goods Miami TV. Thank you for the four ninety nine dono. He said, "Glad I got the carpet company dumps for retail." I was on Sniper Jones Live when I copped on sneakers out, and I donated and felt like bro gave me some luck. Most definitely, man. Shout out to y'all. And I did drop the cash app, but I know a lot of y'all be telling me y'all don't know how to use the, the super chat, man. So the cash app is there. If I see it come through, I'll make sure to shout it out. I got my phone. Let, let's get this man another PE going. <laughs> hey, listen. Right. Hey, can we? Because listen, Drew got something for me, man. And I told him I'm kind of in the midst of handling stuff with my finances. And, you know, I, I had to jump on these, man. He gave me a steal on these. I had to jump on these. But there's another one. That I want that I have not seen another sneaker YouTuber with, man. And I really, 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 really want this one, man. I really, really want this one. Um, because I, I just haven't seen nobody with it. And I don't have nothing of that silhouette in my collection. Drew, you might know which one I'm talking about. I know um, which one you're talking about. Yeah, so I really, really want this one, man. So y'all help me out with it, man. Uh, real quick, culture gave us the two dollar dodo. Thank you for bringing the tithe over to the office and salute to the chat, man. Shout out to you. I just Dr. realized. Yeah, I just realized that, that I'm on the private chat thing, so I can't see anything. I didn't even see there's the comments on there. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> if I get a, if I see any questions now, if someone asks a question, I wasn't being I wasn't ignoring you. Uh, <laughs> I didn't even know it was there. So you thought nobody was asking questions? I was like, yo, no one's on here. No one's saying anything. <laughs> <laughs> no, they are. I, and I typically drew how it works here. Uh, Flight, you know, he's the host. This is channel. I do the moderating. So if it's a uh, search several questions that require your attention, I'll I'll filter there. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Cause I, I just, it said it was on the private chat tab. I've never used uh, this application for video. So I, I didn't see anything. I was like, Oh, I don't even, I didn't think anyone was saying anything. So I got it now. So we're good. <laughs> Rookie move guys. Rookie move. My bad. Hey, shout out to Nick. So 23 for the two dollar dono. Thank you for bringing Tyler offer to the altar. He says early news flight. Yes, indeed, man. Now I got to keep it a buck. I did get another PE in the mail, right? But I can't, do the video on this one because I just signed a deal with the company and um I'm, I'm on a schedule so I can't I, I want to show y'all this so bad man but I got this as part of the signing bonus of the deal I'm happy about the deal I got man but I gotta wait till they give me the okay to put everything out but I it's, it's sitting right here it's, like crew stay tuned <laughs> stay right tuned here. Uh, I gotta wait. I think I gotta wait three weeks. I gotta wait three weeks. I gotta wait for everything else contractually to happen, and then I can do it. But they went ahead and took care of that. But the shoe that I need from Drew, man, 
Y'all going to love this shoe, man. No no other YouTube. Break don't hey, even Flight, get it. Maleficent said, tell us what it rhymes with. <laughs> I you can't, can't do give, that. give up no information. I, I can't do that, man. Well, which one? The one for Drew or which one are you talking about? Because I can talk Just about hold both of them. We're going to keep the suspense because we want to see that later. Okay. So I, I'm not gonna tell about the one from June either, man. Y'all, y'all gonna wait. Let's make it happen. Let's get these donos in tonight, man. If you, said, those, but, if you said a word that rhymes with the one you're getting from me, there's no hiding what that is. <laughs> yeah, I know, right? <laughs> how do you I rhyme know, that? How do you give a word to even rhyme with it, bro? <laughs> yeah, how could you rhyme that? Good luck, bro. We might <laughs> we might spend an hour just thinking of a word that's even close. I know, right? That, and that's <laughs> that right there is a hint. That's a hint, actually. So yeah, it is. But you know what? Let's do this. If anybody can guess what the shoe is, I do. I send twenty dollars cash out, man. If anybody can guess what the shoe is, but you have to be on point with the college and the silhouette, man. You already gave them a hint. <laughs> that's that's it. That's all they get. That's all they get, man. So you got you got to be on point with. It. If anybody catch it. I see twenty dollars. Yeah, that's a that's a way bigger hint. I would be in those I would be in those comments right now. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> that's a way bigger hint than I would. I would even told them it was uh, university. <laughs> and you got to put your cash up in your comments because if I see it, I'm gonna just know that you won. I'm gonna just send it, but I'm not gonna say which one it was because I still want to save the suspense for the video. <laughs> But when Drew sends I it, I see them. They're going in already. They're already yeah. They're coming. They, they, the comments coming in now. Let's see, uh, real quick, man. Shout out to Sneaker Goods Miami TV once again for the nine ninety nine dono. Thank you for bringing time over to the altar. He said, "Let's give Flight another PE." Flight did give me advice on my channel two months ago when I monetized, went from one K subs to eleven hundred pretty quick. Shout out to him. Make sure y'all sub up, man. Thank you so Congrats. much. For okay. Dono, man. Yeah, well, y'all come in quick, man. Let me know what you do, man. Uh, doing your YouTube thing. I was, I tried to do it, but I, dude, I just don't. I don't got the YouTube personality, man. I, I literally just like talk. Basically, I just sit there and like say facts about shoes, and it ends up being the most boring thing ever. So my bad <laughs> if I'm coming off lame, guys. But yeah, I'm, I'm, I don't got that flight or, or unbreakable touch. You know, I don't got that. So yeah, you got it, man. When you when you get shoes like you get, but you can say however you want because people gonna tune in. They gonna want to. People see don't them. even know what it is, dude. I I did videos on stuff, dude. And that's where I was like, I don't get it. I got like the Aris 11s early, the maroon ones. Uh -huh. That video had like thousands of views. And I did a video on every college P, every college 13 PE, right? And uh -huh. that got like a few hundred views. I was like, well, Whoa, these are these are one of 40 shoes. But the thing is, is, is if people don't know what it is to search it, they can't find the content on it. So you almost, it seems like the strategy with that is you got to tie in like, uh, for example, say... Let me think. What's a shoe coming up here uh, that's about to release? Like those other UNC, what do they call those? I don't even remember. The other UNC blue ones that are coming out that are like 1,500 right Hyper now. Hyper Royals. Hyper Royals. Okay. Yeah. So yeah. you got to do a Hyper Royal release and then a shoe no one's ever seen before so that they tune in for the shoe they know and then you bust out the shoe they don't know and you, you educate them on it. Because I was doing content on uh, shoes people didn't know and because no one knows them, no one was even looking for the content or playing it you know so it's man. bro listen anytime you could jump on my live man and we, we could talk sneakers man because I'm, I'm i'm into a new wave man so you know and, and i'm gonna tell y'all something too man when it comes to a lot of sneaker lot knowledge man drew knows a lot man there's been several times in the past even before i had bought my first pe uh that you know i hit him up asking questions about certain stuff and he been there and we actually did we did two we did two shows together right this one i think it was the toronto show like uh yeah. Because AJ, AJ was in town, and that's, like, one of my guys, right? He hit me up. He's like, yo, are you in Toronto right now? I was like, yeah, because, I, I, like, my wife's from Toronto. So, like, I basically was living half of the half of the year in Toronto, half of the year in, in Michigan. And so he's like, dude, come out. Come up on the panel. And, and we, we ended up doing the panel at, at Toronto Sneaker Con together. Mm -hmm. We did good. It was with me, you, break conceded, I think, all of us was on there. Yeah, I think, and, then, and then AJ and mm – -hmm. I think there was some other people, but I. You know what, man? That Toronto sneaker con might have been like the latest one because, um, what well, we had, Cash was there, Foreign Boy, um, Pretty Boy Fredo. We all did that together. Yeah. That well, the thing is, is, with Toronto, is is uh, people don't realize like 
how big of a city that is, right? Like people think like it's just like a size of Kansas City or something, but Toronto is actually the third biggest city in North America or, or fourth, I want to say. It's Mexico City, New York, LA, Toronto. Toronto is bigger than Chicago. So like when people show Toronto love and like show up from the US, like a big brand like SneakerCon shows up, they, I mean, they kill it, man. And they, they let everyone good. know, they let everyone know that they're there because like, to be honest, before I was ever there, I didn't think anything of Toronto. I thought it was a small town, but like that, that city is like major, major. So it's, I think a lot of people were surprised when they went out to that. Toronto, Toronto is lit, bro. Even it's a part of it that seemed like um, it was like almost like Times Square, bro. I yeah, forgot Dundas what. Square. Uh, so yeah, Dundas Square, and it's like a really it's a big world city. So it's like uh, you know, there's it's a lot of diversity. You know, you got you know, really good Caribbean food, uh, Chinese food, Filipino, Vietnamese, whatever you, if you, if there's an ethnicity in the world that exists, they got food for it in Toronto and it's going to be good. Like legit. Like, and, and so I see someone talking about how they film stuff at Resident Evil there. Uh, so they film a lot there because it's cheaper to film in uh, Toronto than New York and or Chicago. So mm -hmm. a lot of the city streets, there's certain areas like the downtown financial area looks a lot like um, Chicago. And then over, like you said, looks like Times Square. So they do tons of movies that, that the movies look like they're based in New York or Chicago, but it's actually Toronto. It's That's crazy. Dope. That's dope. And let me tell y'all something. Drake owns a lot in Toronto. <laughs> man, yeah. he, his, his stuff. Bro, I cannot believe nobody has guessed it yet, man. This is funny. See, Drew, I really got to hurry and get this shoe from you, bro. Because they're not gonna believe me when when I, I thought I thought five in five minutes you were gonna owe someone twenty on Cash App. I'm not gonna lie. I was like, yo, <laughs> you gave them too much. I don't think they're gonna get it, bro. No, I don't, I don't think, think so. Bro. But so, make sure whoever get it, make sure you hit that like button because we can tell if you ain't hit that like button, you're not getting the Cash App. I'm telling you right now, man. Hey, shout out to my guy next up twenty three. Thanks so much for the fight. I don't know if bring your tie to offer to the altar. He said, I would like to listen. To Drew, big facts. Most definitely, man. I tell you, man, Drew, there's a platform for you, man. There's definitely a platform for you, man. Uh, click off this flight. You doing pre order stuff? Yes, I am. Inbox me on that. But um, but yeah. So hey, do you got any any heat right now that you could show us, man? I got a few rooms, so I'm in, I'm in between storage. I got I'm actually I got a bunch of my stuff with me right now. Let me let me see what I got real quick for you. All right, cool, man. We're going we're about to see something special, y'all. Hey, flight crew, make sure y'all hit the like button, man. Show some love. <clears throat> Show some love, man. We're gonna start doing more. We're gonna come back with a shoe he got from Coach Roy Williams at North Carolina. Watch. I know, man. He he got that that's a good guess. <laughs> see, look at him, man. He's gonna be like, Yeah, I got these from Coach Roy Williams, because it ain't just the students that be getting up them shoes. I know it ain't. Right, right. man. You, uh, you guys, uh, you got me, uh, I'm gonna post you something. All right. Give me a minute, real quick. Bet, man, bet, y'all. Hopefully, some of y'all picked up y'all UNC ones today. I actually picked up a few of them. So, a lot of you that pre ordered, I was able to grab some. I was able to get them retail, but I don't care, man. I just want to get these shoes out, man. So, but I cannot wait till y'all see. I cannot wait till y'all see what I'm getting from Drew, man. And I can't wait till y'all see this other one that I got. You know what I'm saying? But we about to get some exclusive looks at some shoes, man. We got 134 in here, man. What them lights looking like, man? We got uh 85 likes. Keep hitting that like button, people. Oh, yeah. We, we got up to 100 likes. likes. Matter of fact, Drew not showing the shoe until we get it over 100 likes, man. This ain't the world we don't got over 100 likes. We need a hundred likes. If you if you have not liked it yet, y'all hit that like button. Hundred thirty five in here. We need a hundred likes before Drew will show us anything, man. Yeah, Let's get it going, man. Uh, How you been? Too? If, if we need to do another round of stuff, I'll, we'll do it. I'll show you what I just scooped out. Oh, my boy got some heat. Hold on, Drew. Don't show up not yet. We gotta get a hundred likes, man. I yeah. need a hundred likes. Let's go. Where, where we at, Tim? Where we at with likes, man? Uh, 87. Oh. Oh, y'all got to pick it up. Y'all got to pick it up. Y'all smash that like button right now. Smash that like button. Yeah. 
Yeah, yeah 93. Awesome. Keep it popping. Yeah, we need it. Come on. Get to 100. I know y'all could do it. Shout out to my guy, Tim, for the $2 dono. know. He said, man, well, thanks for bringing Tyler off to the alt. He said, flight crew, hit that like button so we can see the shoes. Most definitely. Well, I cannot wait till I get the shoe from Drew because none of y'all, <laughs> none of y'all guessing it, bro. I promise y'all, promise y'all, none of y'all are guessing it, man. And I gave y'all two. All right, we had 103 likes. Good job, good job. Keep hitting that like button. Like right, crew, I appreciate that. All right, that's what's up. That's love right there. Mm -hmm. All right, so I got a handful of things for you guys. All right, bet. So I'm gonna give you a solo platform. All right, so because I got I got the call out already. Got to start with those. Ooh. UNC four. Since we got the uh, we got the the Will Coach Williams call out. But now, how's the how's the tongue? On, oh, let me see that one again, Drew. How, how's the tongue on that one with the um? Compared to the UNC fours, that's gonna drop. God, what that thing crispy, man. The, the man, color's not nice. the same. My my light's just messing this all up, so it's hard to see. Maybe you can see better if it's over here. The reflection off the screen. But oh no, uh, we can see them good. We can yeah, see them we good. See it great. Okay, yeah. So yeah, that we'll start with those. And because we're we we went down the UNC trail. Both of these. Whoo! Lord, bro. So you got the ones that he wore uh, during the tournament and the fives that no nobody's got these. I think I think Unbreakable just got them. Uh, I got these. So these ones I've had for a, a little while. I wasn't able to post them. Um, obviously, because if I post a photo of something before photos go out the right way, that's going to be a bad look, you know? So if, if I'm the first person that posts it before the team even posts it, that's just yeah. that's not something we can do, you know. So <laughs> yeah, that makes sense. <laughs> so there's those. That's the UNC. Let me get into some other stuff. Let's see real quick. We got. Shout out to you, baby. You might not know no. You said need them UNC fours. Most definitely, bro. Them UNC fours cold, man. So we got. Another one that's real rare. This is given to NFL players. That's the green laser four. Got red jump man on it. Wait, I never seen those before, bro. I ain't either. I told you. You said you wanted me to bust out some stuff people haven't Wait seen. Wait a before. minute. Wait a minute, y'all. Wow, bro. What yeah. size is that? This one's 11 and a half, I believe. Um, they're numbered to 88. There's 88 made. Um, number kind of is assigned to who got them, so obviously I can't really post that. But, yeah. Uh, yeah, no, this is a sick shoe. It's got all that lasering detail on it, and it's almost yeah, like yeah. um, it's like a green, blue, like metallic. You know how like Cadillac has that pearl wh uh, white that has like blue hints to it. This uh -huh. is green. Yeah, but it has it changes color if the right light hit it. Yep. So I don't know if you can tell, but this one does the same. It's like a green blue. Man, that joke is fire. Man, shout out to uh, Magnificent for the four ninety nine. Don't know, they can bring Ty the offer to the alt. Man, that was that was crazy, bro. I I've never seen that one before. Not a lot of people uh, know about that one. They don't know about this. Figure get some Adidas stuff in there since I'm wearing an Adidas shirt, wearing uh, showing all Jumpman stuff. So the Beluga runway sample. This was the original Beluga Yeezy. It wasn't the V oh. two, so it's all white. Was made for um, New York Fashion Week. Is it so, similar to the cream one? That's a little bit different. It's it's different because if you look here, see how it's all rough. Yeah. So this shoe was actually a lighter, like a almost like a I don't know, like a vanilla cream, like a cream color, right? It wasn't right. really really white. Um, and so what happened was is those came in and it didn't match any of the stuff Kanye had for. Uh, 
the fashion week show right uh-huh. and he yeah. he flipped out so they contracted out at like an artist to paint these to the color he wanted them because obviously we know how kanye gets when things aren't the way he wants them right Most so he had they had a, <laughs> an artist they took the the regular cream version of this and they painted it it's like a white white so uh yeah it's a it's a crazy story behind it there's only 14 made um <laughs> that's the only adidas crazy shoe i got right now well, you dropped some bangs on us tonight, man. So, <laughs> you know what it is? The doorbell auction, right? Yep. So, I think there's only one other dude in the world right now that can do this. Because I sold him my other parody, so I know there's a person that has that can do this. Ooh. That's both. So that's the What the Dornbecker Dunk High. That was the auction of uh, last year. Uh-huh. This one has a piece of everyone, and it comes in a box that's numbered. Um, there's only one of each size made in these. So that would be in its whole sizes. So I believe it's one of nine on these. And so that's the one from last year. And then obviously you got the what the Dorn Becker won from this year. We won we won a pair in the auction. Ooh, dropping shit. Um, but go you go through each of them. So you got like the the DB3 right there. Uh-huh. The what was that? The 14 right that's here. 14. I know the 14, buddy. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> that 14 material on these is, is dope. You got the one on the heel, you got a seven on the heel, um, the twelve on the sole. You got mm. the nine, nine right up there. What's weird though is actually, so like this has the same pattern as the nine. They must not have been able to recreate exactly how the nine material was or something because this is not the same material as the nine. I don't know if you can tell. It's like shiny. Like it doesn't have the same oh, yeah, yeah. feel as the nine. And then you got the you got the five on the toe, which that that's the same material it looks like. Um, let's see what else is on this one. I think that's it on this. Now, what is that? Shoe kind of, on? They had a pair uh, from the auction sold for 53k. God, yeah, oh, well. Wow. And uh, I'm trying to think the midsole. Uh, what midsole is this? It's silver. Let's think of what one had silver on it like that. The DB, um, uh, I'm blanking now. It wasn't the foams. Um, no, no, it's all it's only the Jordans are, are on this. Was, um, I'm blanking now. Oh, it'll come to me. Um, then the other shoe, you got the sixes. Six on the well back. The liner, right? Yeah. So you got that liner. You got the twos on the, the back heel right there. Um, you got the eights right there as well as the sole. Um, you got the fours right here and the midsoles from the fours too because it's got that green. Remember that? Mm-hmm. Um, and then you've got the tens. You can see the uh, if I can get it, the ten material right there. And then um, let's see which other one. That's the thirteens right there. I'm and, sorry. What's up? Was the silver from the fives? I don't think so, because the five is the five is right here. If you look, it's right there on the toe. So I see the nine. Um, and then the 15s is the gold swoosh. Which one are we missing now? So we got the ones, the twos, the, the eight. The eight, no, so the eight's right there and right okay. there. Okay. Yeah. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven maybe? Did the the tens. You got the tens one, right? The tens, yeah. The tens are right are right there. It's hard okay. to show because you got to get like the reflection in there. Yeah. And then you got the twos. I see the twos right there. Yeah. So what about the 15s? Oh, the 15s. Yeah. 15s is the silver. So the, the thing is, is, okay. is if, so say right here, we got the eight right here. The eight yeah. won't be on this shoe at all. So it's, it's like, okay. basically they, they selected a certain shoes for, for each, each foot essentially. So, so the, we, we must have said the shoe that this belongs to because we went through every Jordan DB, but I'm blanking now which one that's from. Yeah, I yeah. think we all went through the seven, the six, the fourteen, the twelve, the fifteen, the two, the ten, the five, the four, the three. Yeah, we went through all of them. 
So we said the shoe that that belongs to. I don't know if it was the 12. It might have been the 12. But I don't think they would have put that right next to the outsole like that. Because they put an 8 outsole on this and a 4 midsole mm-hmm. right there. So, yeah, yeah no one... No one, there's one other dude in the world because I sold because I had two of these. Uh-huh. Uh, I sold him the, the other pair of these, so he has the complete pack. And so, there's only two complete packs of people that have both of those shoes essentially. Man, and that one's one of nine, that one's one of 17. So, that's that's definitely a dope one. Flight um, cool. I hope y'all. Cool. Cool. Man. This is exclusive right here. Yeah, man. Hey, man, show us some more, man. No. Show us some more, man. People want to see more. I can show some more. Let me see. What, what am I doing? This is a 2005 in my size, size 8. Mm. So, you got to bust out one of those, of course. Yes, the indeed. Better one. Is that is that a personal one or no? That's a personal, yep. Mm. So yeah, there's the this one. Somebody said the three's got a silver midsole. The three's got a silver midsole? Yeah, let me let me look. Somebody said that. Uh, yes, yes, they do. You're right. The threes do have a silver midsole. Oh, no, the midsole's a three. Okay, okay. That sounds right. I figured some, someone's got to have that cover. Yeah. Uh, well, I got three more to show for, for right now. All right. Let's see. Okay, this one right here. Okay. So, there's three more that I grabbed. I got a bunch more back over there, but just for the sake of it taking too long for me to get stuff. Now, what are those? See, that's. I wonder if anyone in your in your uh, chat can guess what these are. Do anybody know what those is, man? I'm, right, about to I'm say looking now. I'm stumped. <laughs> Not a lot of people know about those. Yo, the, those are like some Saint Saint Patrick Day retro ones, man. And you can see it's like a suede crock, right? Yeah, I've seen that. It got that suede like the uh, the Gatorade sixes a little bit. Do it. Uh no, it's it's a little different. I'm trying to think uh which shoe. Alias said, "Is that a Notre Dame? Is that a Mark Wahlberg collab?" Nope, nope. I I want to see some more guesses on this. And so it's got here's a like, it's got the uh the same thing as another line of shoes. That should be a hint. Is it same? Thing? Josh Farrell said it's a U a University of uh, Southern Florida PE. No, University of Southern Florida is not with Jordan brand. Uh, yeah. So these, technically, it's a... it's Alias a, said Notre Dame. Nope. So it's not a college. Uh, it's not a college at all. It's for a person. Made for a person. Hold on. Hold on. Let me think. Let me think. The hint? The it's hint? not for LeBron? For his high school team? No, but that's a good guess, actually. It's got gum soles. Um, for, for reference... Here is somebody said Ray Allen. Nope. So that's a normal size shoe right there. Look oh, how okay. small it is. Right? Maya Moore. <laughs> no, Maya Moore's got a big foot, actually. I think she's a size 10. <laughs> Man. Uh, so this is made for somebody. Spike Lee. <laughs> no, it's way too small. This is this is under size eight. Under size eight. Someone got it. Someone got it. Macklemore? Macklemore? Nope. MJ Dora? MJ Dora. Jasmine Jordan ones. That was. Uh, oh, that was uh, Milton Mil- Nipperson that got that. Yes. I knew someone would guess it. That's why I kept waiting because I know I knew someone was going to guess it. Yeah. So these are the Jasmine Jordan Pinnacle One samples, and that was the hint. Is it's like a Pinnacle One with the aglets right there? Oh, with the gold joints on it. Yeah, because they yep. do got. And then the gold leather. Down. Leather in Brittany like got a, a pair of them in here somewhere. The maroon 11s, yeah, yeah. So these are uh Jasmine Jordan sample. Uh, they, they never released. I've only seen three ever. I'm sure there's more than three. Um, they wouldn't have just made three of these. Uh, but I've only seen three in anyone's hands. This is a size five, so it's a size five sample, which is I think it's the smallest sample I've ever had. 
Yeah, I think it is. Title, man. I'm about to put Drew English shows us Jasmine Jordan uh, sample, man. <laughs> <laughs> so we got that one. Yeah, that's fire there. Yeah, not a lot of in, – in another green shoe we got that hasn't been on this side of the world at all, really. Oh, that's the uh, – the um, ah, what are those? That's the um, the Manilas? Yup. Yeah. I don't know if that's showing up. Manila. Yeah. I wanted those so bad, got man. The, uh, the Stingray right there. Got cracked leather here. I don't know if you can see the cracked leather. But it, it, what yeah, the we weird part it. is, the midsole right here, that's suede. It's a suede midsole, kind of like cause a little bit. Uh -huh. And I, I don't actually like that at all. I don't know about you guys. Suede on the midsole? I think that's like little, I'm not a big fan, honestly, of that. It's got ostrich on the tongue. Um, What else we got? There's like a – if you look, the wings are the same material. I don't know if it's showing. Uh, it's the same material as the UNC, it's the UNC 5 material. If I, I'll pull those back out real quick and show you. But the material is the exact same, actually. And I just noticed that now, to be honest. So if you look at that material and compare it to that, it's the same material, isn't it? Yes. Yes, it is. Yeah. Yeah, so that I didn't know. And so, like, the other thing is, is I don't know if you remember seeing they had, uh, I think they call them the Entrance Tunnel 4s. It was an NBA uh, Jordan brand PE. It's a gray version of this shoe. 100% the same. 100% the same, just gray. Um, but, yeah, yeah, so this one was released in the Philippines. It's numbered to 150. It's got, uh, I don't even know how to explain the liner. It's like satin, kind of, I think. It's like a satin liner. I don't know if you can see it kind of shining. Oh, my bad. But, uh, yeah, it's an all right shoe. It doesn't do that much for me. I really don't like a lot of the material on it, and the color is super, super bright. Like, I mean, you can't compare these greens right here. This is like a uh, – almost like a swamp green, and this is like a neon green. Like, it's it's crazy green. Um, but, yeah, 150 made – Yeah, they were only released in the Philippines, um, and – my wife's Filipino, and so I had to I had to call some favors in over there, um, be, to be able to get these. So got those, and then another shoe people forget about a lot because of the uh, man. Who was it? I mean, shit. They're already they're gonna say it in the the comments. Who had a fake version of these? Someone did, and I can't remember. Jim Jones was it? He had, he had a fake version of this shoe. Was it Jim Jones? <laughs> I think it was Jim Jones that had a fake version of him. Yeah, they said the, the crew said, yeah, the chat said it's Jim Jones. Jim Jones. This is this is the real deal of that. And uh yeah, so this one is in a raised sun size. It's an eight and a half, and he outgrew it. So eight and a half is my size. Um got the Ray Allen on the tongue. Dope part is is so uh right, I don't know if you can see. Got the ring. I can't even. Oh, see yeah, I see the ring. Yeah. yeah. That's the ring. So these are called the two rings, right? Because obviously he won the two rings uh, with, I think it was Miami and, and he had Boston, right? So he had he had two rings there. Uh, or he had two rings with Miami, wasn't it? No, I'm one blanking. with Boston, one with Miami. Okay, I'm, I was blanking out. So these are the two rings right here. And each of, each of them got a ring on it. Um, yeah, so... Uh, another thing is, is like with these, the fake ones, if you look at them, the fake ones don't touch. It's hard to show it on a video. Uh, you see on the edge of the patent leather? Yeah. It's red. So it's like another layer. It's red. Yeah. See, the fakes of these, they just are, it's gold there. It's gold. Oh, so okay. Okay. The, le the legit ones are like two layers it's like lined with red on all of them so that's like one of the things it's the first thing i look for if it doesn't have that it's fake um but yeah man these uh these were one that i was lucky to get offered and you don't see very i don't i think i know one other person that has a legit pair of these and pretty much every other version is fake i've actually worn these because i bought them worn, but uh yeah. You're saying who's got better PEs, Ray Allen or Rip Hamilton? Ooh. 
I, I think Ray, man. Um, I like Rip Hamilton PEs, but I mean, they don't got they don't got stuff like this, like for Rip, unfortunately. Yeah, those are fire. <laughs> Real quick, shout out to Alias for the one eight nine. Don't know, man. Thank you for bringing Ty the offer to the altar. He said they're wearing PEs, y'all. Y'all better wear everything. <laughs> Fast. Yeah. So what's fire. your what's your go to sneakers, man? Man, right now, actually, I'm a. This is going to be a really underwhelming thing. Well, I don't even need to do it, but uh, right now, the ones that I'm wearing every day, like with it, the it being just getting out of winter, mm-hmm. my winter shoe is the Mauve Yeezys, just because they're comfortable. They got boost in them and they're dark, so when you're like stomping around through all the slush, the it doesn't ruin them because they're that color, that, that dirty brown color anyway. Mm-hmm. Um, I've been skating in the New York to Paris Jordan 1 SBs because, uh, you know, the one that it's like gray and then it peels off to pink, you know? So oh, those ones, I've been skating those. Uh, my Tiffany Dunks, the black the black ones. Um, trying to think what else I wear a lot lately. Um, I got a pair of beat up bread ones I wear in Royal, Royal and Shadow. But to be honest, like that's the stuff I'm wearing pretty regularly. I'm not really thinking too hard into it lately, just because I've been so busy working and, and grinding that I literally just toss the shoes on at this point. You know, I don't, ha- I don't have time to put too much thought into it. I guess. So Drew English doesn't like he doesn't go to Walmart. He's on. If I go to Walmart, I'm tossing like some mobs on, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Or actually, I just went grocery shopping. I was wearing, yeah, I was wearing the Tiffany Dunks. That's it. <laughs> They're saying, show us some stuff we've never seen before. I think I did. I did. Yeah, what you man. think that was? Yeah, that was some stuff we ain't yeah, never who, seen before. Nobody, nobody saw these before. Nobody knew. Bro, I'm, hey, I'm putting that in the title, man. Drew Angle shows us MJ, Michael Jordan, daughter, PE, man. I'm trying I'm to think what else man. I got. I got, I mean, I got so much stuff here. It's just like, there. it's hard to get to it because it's all stacked up. You know up what? This is what I'm gonna do, flight crew. I'm going to fly to Drew English, man, and I'm gonna do a video. <laughs> and he gonna well, first of all, is that cool, Drew? I just invited yeah. myself. <laughs> yeah, my, my my house is your house, bro. <laughs> hey, man, you gotta forgive me, man. That's black people in me, man. Listen, no, you're no, <laughs> you're you're more than welcome. <laughs> so I'm gonna do a video because I don't think nobody else has done it. So nobody can steal my idea. Me and Drew are gonna do a video, and he's gonna show us, and we're gonna talk about some of the, the sneakers he have. And we're actually going to do part. It's probably gonna be like two or three videos. It's maybe gonna have to be like a ten part series, bro. I got a lot to show. We're gonna do a <laughs> like, series on it, man. We, there's a lot. There's a lot. Come on, that was Fire Twelves. Uh, well, show him. Show him the twelves. Show him the twelves. We got the PE twelves. He's asking for. Them. Y'all see him, man. Yeah. No. As a matter of fact, I haven't even seen any other YouTuber, including Break, with these, man. To be honest with no. y'all. Oh, uh, the call out. out. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It's called Unbreakable Out. <laughs> hey, man, I, I don't know. Have y'all seen Break With Them? Because I've never seen them with it. You know what I'm saying? So I can't recall. You know, the, and these, these my, this is my size, man. You know what I'm saying? 14. So, but I tell y'all, and, I got and, another and, one. Yeah. That's coming Break from Break Jackson PEs now. We, we, we ain't disputing that. He like University yeah. at Unbreakable. <laughs> See, this is what I'm doing. I'm going after the ones he don't have, bro. You know what I'm saying? Like, I, I'm, I'm, I'm going after some different ones. Some of them he got that I want. You know what I'm saying? I'm just gonna get them, but definitely got two, man. Shout out to Ant Man for the 199. Don't know, man. He said, Drew, you got any Fire Twelves? I guess you asked if you had any Fire Twelves. Trying to think of other ones. I've had. So I had Gary Payton Twelves. Uh, I don't got those anymore, though. Mm-hmm. Um, man. I have had you any of them, like any, any, like Gary Payton, Ray Allen, Rip, Maya Moore, any of them? Am I what? Have you ever met any of them? Nah, nope. Cool. Never met any of them. Uh, yeah, I had, I had a couple. I, I had the OVO twelves when they were a sample, and then they released. So that that sucks. <laughs> yeah, I, I think they should have did OVO a little bit better than what he's had, man. The GR versions are like the quality is not that good. Like the sample version, the sample version is is crazy, mm-hmm. and and I know it sounds like a lot of people say that because 
a lot of people say that because like they got the samples and then they released so they feel like they feel some type of way about the situation and they go well i got the better quality one but truly that shoe the sample version of it is like night and day better um than the release uh i actually so the thing that's funny is i found the guy that had the sample it was a 10 or 12s tens the sample tens um the black pair and when they released those and they were basically worth nothing i ended up buying the sample off of him because i was like the the gr quality was so trash that for you know i think i bought paid it 600 right 600 for 600 i'll take the i'll take the sample when those were going for 6k before you know Man. they're asking for gator pe should i show them oh uh, absolutely yeah. show them yes thank you for asking okay let me let me get them <laughs> which one yeah man oh uh, hey get them the um show them the force bring the oklahoma force too if you got those man I love I love them Oklahoma fours, man. Hey, flight crew, make sure y'all smash this like button, man. We're getting some exclusive, exclusive stuff right here. Matter of fact, never before be seen. Show never before after, seen. <laughs> after this, we'll drop. I'm doing a video. I'm gonna go up there. I'm gonna do a video with him to show this crazy insane collection, insane collection that he has. So I don't want him to show all of them. But this is the guy, man. This is the guy, bro. Y'all make sure y'all follow him on Instagram as well, man. Most definitely, most definitely. Hey, Jasmine Danielle Benson says, shout out to Flight on the uh, UNC Fours pre-orders. Most definitely, most definitely. We got the- so Shout we got out to the Shuby Bryant representing the Unbreakable Army and Aylin representing the Unbreakable Army. We see y'all with, with the medals. So whoever asked for Gator shoes, we're gonna, we're gonna show them all of them, right? So whoever, whoever was asking for Gator shoes, you got the Fours right here. Sorry, I'm fumbling the bag out here. <laughs> we got the fours. And this is in the order that they were made in release, too, or not released, but given out. So the fours were first. You got the one second. Right. Right? And so the only sign on that, well, that's Florida, is the tongue. Okay. That. So those, you got the ones, and then the ones that basically nobody has yet. Um, the fives and them so clean. them clean yeah these are these i love the fives this year there it's like it's crazy it's like it's like a suede with like i don't even know how to explain the pattern it's like they made their own version because like the artificial stingray um if you look at the stingray print on shoes in fact i'll just show this it it's literally like suede under it and then like it's almost like glue dots right see what mm -hmm. i mean because mm -hmm. it's not real stingray so the faux stingray they do it on the leather or uh, they do it on suede so this is like they created their own version and instead of the dots they did elephant print if you can see oh yeah I see it. yeah we see it so it's like a micro elephant it. print and so it's like their own pattern that they made specifically for this shoe my guess too is that we'll see this print on a shoe at some point that releases. It won't. It's not going to be like an exact cow shoe, but you're going to see them put this this material on a shoe. You know, I I think so because if they spent time creating this print, they're not going to just put it on a sample. They're creating it because they want to test it for other, you know, for release on on stuff to see how it holds up. Um, the other thing they got is I don't know if you can tell. Um, I, so the, the girl that helped design this, I asked her, I was like, what, what material is it? Cause it's, it's a crazy soft suede. I don't know if it shows that well. See how it's like fuzzy almost. You can, you can feel it through the video. <laughs> I don't know. You can kind oh, yeah, of see, see, right? see how it has like, fuzz, it's like actually fuzzy. Mm -hmm. She said it's like a silk suede. So it's like an extra, extra soft and buttery suede. Like I've never seen this on any shoe ever. Like every material this shoe is made out of. Is a material I've never seen before. It's crazy, bro. So that's the Florida. Do you? You said somebody wanted to see some Oklahoma's, right? Yeah, that's 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 the one I like. Oklahoma fours. Yeah. So this, yeah, I believe, is, it's the yeah, BMD. That's right there. Yeah. Man, these are the tongue sits weird on these when the laces aren't all the way up. <laughs> it don't even matter. 
But yeah, so you got the yeah, Oklahoma four. I got to have those in the collection, bro. Yeah, that that tongue looks goofy because it's not. If you notice, it's not uh, laced all the way to the top. So the the tongue and the the wings are just hanging there. Yeah. And so yeah. with the way this material is, these things just sit goofy if you don't if you don't uh, uh, lace it all the way up. So I haven't relaced these. I just left them as is, and then they come also. Which I don't. I think the white laces in these kind of looks a little bit. I don't know, dumb. I guess. I think. I think just keep it all red. Yeah, the red will look way better. The white is. It's too big of a change. You know what I mean? It's like too drastic. Yo, if I hit a hundred thousand subscribers this year, I'm buying them Oklahoma fours, man. You're buying them anyway. I already know. Yeah, you're right. You're right. You're right. We're, we're gonna get you started, <laughs> and you're gonna want those. You're right. You're right. I'm gonna get them regardless, man. <laughs> all it takes is one PE flight. Man, yep. look. I cannot wait till y'all. Nobody guessed it. I cannot wait till y'all see. It. I, I, you know what? I'm gonna go ahead and get it soon, man. I just, I got, I got something I'm working on, and I gotta, I gotta stay focused, man. But y'all are gonna see that video. I promise. I'm gonna keep y'all waiting no longer than a month. No longer than a month. I'm gonna, I'm gonna get them so y'all can see them because I know y'all gonna be like, bro, where the shoe at? Well, I am excited, but man, you know how we do, man. We keep sneaker study Wednesday to about an hour. We don't like to go too far over in the sermon, but man. Shout out to Drew English for blessing the chat tonight, man. Yeah, We're man, honest. anytime. Thanks. Anytime you want us on, uh, we're down, you know. Warren, so my brother, uh, English Soul, is actually owned by me and my brother, Warren. He's uh -huh. based out in Chicago, so you'll have to hop him on if you want to talk, like, OG sneaker knowledge about, like, mm -hmm. basketball and, like, the origins of sneaker, like, that stuff. Uh -huh. That's his thing, you know, so you definitely you know what? Got I'm going to try to get them on next week, man, so that way we can have back-to-back, -back, man. It'd be All nice right. to get both y'all on there, man. Yeah, for sure, for sure. Because uh, I don't – have you met Warren yet? I don't think you have because he I wasn't – I haven't met him yet. Uh, mm -hmm. Yeah, so he'll – if you if you get going on, like, all old basketball knowledge and old sneaker knowledge, he's he knows that stuff, like, way better than I do. I'm more – I more know this stuff, you know, all the rare stuff. Uh, right. But he's, like, he's the true, true sneaker collector. Like, if there's one of us that, like – buys too much it's him like i gotta talk him out of buying jason kid shoes and like pippins and rodman's like he'll, he'll hit me up he's like i need at least two i'm like dude don't buy them they're gonna go on sale especially because he wears a size seven it's like bro knows no one that can fit a size seven these days even knows who jason kid is other than a coach you know like they don't like you're not a jason kid shoe is not selling out in a size seven maybe in like a 11 to 14 okay okay but but not a seven <laughs> well, we're going to run it back again next week with you and your brother, man. Well, let me, let me reach out to your brother and make sure he has the time. But we're definitely going to run it back, man. Uh, I'm, I'd love to have y'all back on again so we can go through some more PEs and well as, you know, speak the, the, the sneaker knowledge with him, man. But for now, man, go ahead and shout out your Instagram where people can find you. Um, and, you know, just you know, put it all out there, man. Yeah, for sure. So I appreciate you guys uh, tuning in, asking questions. Um, our Instagram is Instagram.com forward slash English soul. And we're also, you know, we're running an auction right now with Sotheby's. And so we got uh, basically 50 of the rarest shoes available for sale. And it they're estimating it could bring in up to around 800,000. Check it out. We got a link in our bio. You can check out every shoe that's going to be available. And yeah, man, if you guys ever have any, any of your followers got question about shoes, feel free to reach out to us on Instagram for sure. Bad man. <laughs> Wait, yeah, yeah. yeah hey, I, I just want to say salute to the to the chat. We came through Flight Academy uh, crew. Everybody represented. Good job hitting that like button, Drew. Thank you for sharing your knowledge, your insight. You know, it, it, it's it's an honor and a privilege to actually be in your presence and to learn about what you bring to the sneaker culture. So thank you for that. Y'all yeah, know where y'all can that. follow me at. Uh, y'all can reach out to Brittany Dot on IG. She got a giveaway coming away at a thousand subscribers. So make sure y'all uh. Follow us so we can get that going. Most definitely, man. Hey, y'all know who it is, man. It's me. Just me. That's all it is, man. Boy, it's Flight Academy Kid. Look, I got something dropping for y'all tomorrow. I got a good video dropping for y'all tomorrow. Make sure y'all tune in. But as well, we, was running it, we are running this back again next week. Thank y'all so much for tuning in. I promise y'all, Sneaker Study Wednesday is going to get better each and every week. I got a guest lined up, man. I got... Man, y'all might see Michael Jordan on here one day, man. That's how crazy. We're going to have Ann Herbert on here. Y'all tune in. We're going to have Ann Herbert exclusive on Sneaker <laughs> Study Wednesday. Right. Hey, look, if I get <laughs> Ann Herbert on here, 
you gonna have a million, a million views. Right. Yo, I can I can get you her son on here as long as you don't roast him. Like I actually could if you want. Hey, no, now, now we can't guarantee that. that. He's a he's a we, we gotta have him man. like with his face with the pixelated. We gotta have that like with the, with his voice with the you know how they do the people in the nah, witness protection he, program. <laughs> he's a good kid, man. That's a good kid. He did they tw- they did him wrong. They well, that's another story. But he, that what they yeah, are. It, it, it's all one right, for him man. to learn. You know, you gotta learn who you divulge certain information to. You know, reporters. Yeah, that's he, what they do. They report. So well, he yeah, they, they over they reported some stuff that didn't happen too. So I feel bad for the kid. He's a good kid. But that's another story, another time, right? Well, look, man, we're going to let him yeah. tell this story, man. We, we're going to definitely get him on here, man. We would love to have him on here. Like I said, you know, we control our chat over here, man. We we all grown us over here, man. But it's always good to – anything like that that's monumental in the in the sneak community, something like that happen, we definitely got to have that on the live, man, just to have that combo, man. And it probably help clear up some stuff too. So yeah. Yeah. Help, man. But until next time, but y'all know how we rocking, man. Take flight with the flies be flying me. Just ain't flying right. Y'all make sure – hit that subscribe button, man. Until next time, man, we out, man. Long live Nip, man.